Hey, Eagle fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome to Philadelphia Eagles Now. We're going to jump into the latest Eagles news and rumors here on a Wednesday. Nick Sirianni just wrapped up a press conference. We have some juicy details on the quarterback play and some injury updates as well. And maybe a little trade stop because the Russell Wilson rumor mill keeps churning all in today's video. Let's start with Gardner Minshew and Minshew mania. We thought maybe early this morning that the chances of Gardner Minshew actually being the starting quarterback on Sunday were decently high based on the fact that Jalen Hurts suffered an ankle injury and was, quote, sore on Monday's press conference or during Monday's press conference according to Nick Sirianni and so we were talking about potentially the idea that I mean, Gardner Minshew could go ahead and start for the Eagles on Sunday that's why they traded for him brought him in to be a solid backup and he would be the starter however as you'll see with our quote coming up here in just a couple of seconds Nick Sirianni has seemingly put a little water on that fire it looks like Jalen Hurts should be able to go on Sunday he will not be 100% but it looks like he should be able to go uh, against the Jets so we'll start with the Sirianni quote again this is fresh off the presses as quickly as we could get it to you quote we are hopeful we are feeling good. He's feeling better every day. We are excited. We are going to have him at walkthrough today. So really hopeful, end quote. And that doesn't guarantee anything. Right? He says, we're hopeful. We're feeling good. Better every day. These are all good things to say, but it doesn't guarantee that he's going to be able to play. And ankle injuries are fickle things. They're one of the worst ones you can have in the NFL because of all the cutting that you do, and especially Jalen Hurts is a great cutter of the football. I mean, he's like, whoop, whoop, back and forth. Um, however, as he, you know, people are going to laugh at me about that when you watch that video. Either way, if he's not able to go, it'll be a game time decision is my guess. And then you would have Gardner Minshew obviously insert in the starting lineup come probably Sunday morning. You'll get a tweet about it, uh, and it'll be a whole dramatic big thing. But I'm expecting, as I think Sirianni is, for Hurts to go and he will take all the first team reps during the walkthrough today on Wednesday. I can't really say this. I'm I'm curious how good Minshew could be. Like, I wouldn't hate the idea of Minshew starting on Sunday, but there are two different thought processes on that. Because one, if Minshew were to play well, you create a quarterback controversy, and we don't want that. But at the same time, if Minshew were to play well, it might show that, really, the receivers are getting open, because that's been a little bit of a knock on Jalen Hurts, especially against the Giants. There's a very famous Twitter uh, tweet photo you might have seen on Twitter talking about, was Devontae Smith open on the final play, back and forth. So it's probably for the best that he's not going to play. It looks like, again, you're going to have Jalen Hurts start on Sunday. But I can't help but just kind of wonder what this guy would look like, because he's been a fun quarterback, and he was fun in 2020. I thought he was fun, obviously, with the Jaguars, and I love him as a backup. Like, if Jalen Hurts seriously had to miss a couple of games, I'd feel very, very good about Gardner Minshew coming in. So it's probably for the best that, of course, we're not going to see him on Sunday. Uh, he'll be in the backup quarterback role. I hope Jalen Hurts can play. I want him to play, but you know, we can't help but at least kind of go, what would it look like? But it looks like, according to Nick Sirianni, we're not going to get to see Minshew. It will be Hurts, and of course, be ride or die. As I've always said on this channel with Jalen Hurts, hopefully he's healthy and good to go and plays well. Okay, quick pin, uh, pin comment ad break down below in the comment section right now. Best guess at who starts on Sunday. It sounds like Hurts, but when I hear from you guys, type M down below for Minshew, type H down below for Hurts. Again, he didn't guarantee it, which is why we asked the question. You guys take your pick. Who starts on Sunday for uh, the Philadelphia Eagles? And of course, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because if there is an update, and especially after having tomorrow, we got a video planned in case there is some sort of update. We'll get you guys the latest on all the Eagle injury news, like the Minshew news, like the Hurts news, like anything else that's going on, subscribe down below right now. Okay, so we talked a lot about, especially in yesterday's video too, uh, Russell Wilson, right? And Russell Wilson this, and Russell Wilson that, and Russell Wilson unhappy. Russell Wilson lost eight games. Russell Wilson have a losing record for the first time his entire career. Russ, 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 Russ. One more time on Russell Wilson, probably not, but at least for now. So, of course, Wilson and the Seahawks, there might be parting ways. I'm not convinced that they're going to trade Russell Wilson, but other people seemingly are. As Seattle, of course, like I said, lost their eighth game on Monday night to the Washington football team. Eagles have been linked to Russell Wilson for years. I mean, this has been no shocking story here. We met the draft, and then other times on what Russell Wilson's been upset. But there's a new quote coming out from former uh, Eagles GM and President Joe Banner, who, or I should say President, not GM, but Joe Banner, who has some thoughts on Russell Wilson. I thought I'd share with you guys, get you guys' thoughts on this as well. Throw it up on the screen right now. Quote, I'm a big fan of his, and I recognize he's not playing well right now. I think if he's available, they'd be very interested, and they should be. If they get him, assuming they can fix this line, I think they do very, very well with him. Is that opportunity for, If that opportunity presents itself, I think they'd be aggressive, and I think they should be doing that. End quote. Again, I don't disagree. I've told you guys how I feel about Russell Wilson. He is an upgrade over Jalen Hurts, at least right now. Now, if Hurts figures things out and plays well, he will be the starter in 2022. And my big problem with all of this is that you have to trade away draft picks to get Russell Wilson. This is not an Aaron Rodgers situation where you just sign him because he's probably going to be a free agent. You have to trade for Russell Wilson, meaning you would have to get rid of these sweet, precious, beautiful first-round draft picks that you know I love so very much, like my little babies. Like, I want them to be Phillies come April, whatever it is, 26, 27, 29th. I want to use all three. But if the cost is Russell Wilson, then, you know, they, maybe you could convince me to get rid of some of these uh, overall. Let me ask you guys this. How many first-round draft picks would you be willing to give up for Russell Wilson? Would you be willing to give up all three? 
I think it'll cost at least three. If you could convince me it'd be two and we keep one of the first round draft picks, I would listen. All three, though, is like, oh, man, I don't know. Although I know he's really good. So give me your thoughts down below right now. How many first round draft picks uh, would you give up for Russell Wilson? Again, I, I I I need to at least preface this. Like Wilson would be a great addition if they traded for him at the end of the, uh, this offseason. I feel good about it. Like I wouldn't hate it. I think Russell Wilson's better quarterback than obviously Jalen Hurts. I think he's a, probably a future first round, first ballot Hall of Famer. That guy's a monster, and with the right system, with the right head coach, and the right defense, and good play calling, I think he'd be very successful. I think he'd immediately make Philadelphia the favorites in the division and make them a playoff favorite, especially with maybe getting some additions in the free agency uh, a, a, a agent market, and then obviously in the draft as well. So I wouldn't hate the idea. I am very much for this, but at the same time, I want to ride with Jalen Hurts. As you guys know, I want him to be the starter because then you can really improve your team with three first-round draft picks. It's very rare a team has three first-round draft picks, and I want the Eagles to be able to take full advantage of all of those. Okay, before we go ahead and get into some more injury news here, quickly, I want to quickly give a shout-out to our friends at BetUS, as we, of course, have plenty of uh, bets of the week right now. Chatsports.com forward slash Eagles. Of course, Eagles125 is your promo code. Link is going to be on the screen right now to go ahead and get to the BetUS website where you guys can go ahead and sign up, put your $100 deposit down, and turn it into 225 bucks for your betting pleasure. Here are my bets of the week. I'm going Falcons plus 11 versus the Bucks. I think it, the Falcons kind of got right against the Jaguars. They're not going to win. Plus 11 is a lot, though, and Atlanta can score points, I think, at times, and the Buck defense, at least the secondary, is susceptible. I'm going to take the Ravens minus four and a half to put the sucker punch into the Steelers' playoff chances. The Steelers are absolutely trending down. I mean, they could have a bounce back week, but I think Big Ben is done. I think he gets benched after this loss. So give me the Baltimore Ravens minus four and a half. Bills minus two and a half versus the Patriots. I think the Patriots have won too many games. I think they're going to come back down to earth a little bit. Buffalo's defense is good, at least it has been. And I like Josh Allen a lot. Give me the Bills. Broncos plus 10 at the Chiefs. I think they're going to be able to cover in this one. Kansas City's flying high, though, so risky. That one's a risky one. And I will bet Philadelphia minus six and a half. I was wrong with the Giant bet. Minus six and a half is a big number, but I feel like they should be able to run the football against the Jets, right? Like, there's no way Zach Wilson's going to carve us up. Knock on wood, you know, you never know. Oh, man, those are my bets of the week. Again, if you guys want to jump in on this, do it with our friends at BetUS. So use that promo code EAGLES125. Speaking of uh, Russell Wilson, quickly, one more little wrap-up thought here. He has still been pretty darn good this year, despite the fact that, obviously, um, you know, he he is not winning football games. And even though he wasn't great in that loss to the Washington football team on Monday, I still think he's a very good player and is going to be just fine. Like, if there's an argument out there that he's no longer, you know, good, I, I definitely don't buy it. I think he's going to be fantastic going forward. Uh, I'll finish Russell Wilson with this question. Do you guys want Russell? Like, straight up. Do you... I mean, like, it can't be more obvious than this. Do you want Russell Wilson type wide and below for yes? If you do not, go ahead and type N down below for no. All right, injury news here quickly. Jack Driscoll, of course, ankle injury placed on IR. He'll be gone for at least the next couple of weeks here, three to be exact. Nate Irving will go and take his spot. That is what Nick Sirianni said today. And so you're going to have another shift on the offensive line. No update on Brandon Brooks, by the way. You're going to update on him after the bye week, which is next week. And so maybe Brooks is coming forward in the future. I haven't really heard much about Brandon Brooks recently in terms of injury news. But Driscoll out, Irving in. That's your offensive line mix-up here. Miles Sanders is still doing with an ankle injury. He is progressing in the right direction, according to Nick Sirianni today. I think he's going to be able to go. I think he's going to be able to play, but just know that this is one of those game time things where if he comes out on Sunday and doesn't feel good about it, then, you know, it could get a little iffy here. Jordan Howard also, he's probably going to come back from injury. No con confirmation from Sirianni today, but trending in the right direction. Limited in practice, but probably should be able to go on Sunday. And I think if Jordan Howard's in there, then Philadelphia will be able to run the football. I mean, up and down the Jets' uh, defense because the Jet defense is very, very bad against the run. All right, which of the injuries worries you guys the most? Is it Driscoll? Is it Sanders? Or is it Howard? Let me know down below right now in the comments section. I really want Howard to come back. Like, I need Sanders for my fantasy team, but Howard was really, I mean, he really was part of the big reason why Philadelphia was able to go on that big run the past couple of weeks, minus, of course, when he was out during the loss of the Giants. But give me your thoughts, which injury you guys uh, think is the biggest of the worry, or one that worries you the most, I should say, uh, down below right now. Okay, ultimate for today on our Philadelphia Eagles Now news and rumor video. We have a mailbag video coming up later this week, so go down below, hashtag Eagles, ask any sort of question you possibly could want, as we have plenty of people who ask questions, and not everyone gets asked. So make sure you guys are a subscriber and ask a good question down below, and I'll probably pull it for a mailbag video coming up later on this weekend. Ultimate for today on our Philadelphia Eagles news and rumor video, I'm your host, Thomas Mott, signing off. Enjoy the rest of your day.